All right. So, um, we're going to be reviewing. There's going to be a lot. There's going to be a massive Mugen review dump. Uh, and this is going to be the first of them. We've got some real nice surprises in here as well. But this is Battlestormer Classics version 2.0. So we're going to be having a nice little look at this one, uh, which is pretty damn cool. And uh, a really sort of interesting thing for the arcade, but I'll leave that till the end. So anyway, let's uh, let's go check out what characters are made available uh, for this. Okay. Right, so we'll go through. Now, these are, like, unlike the other Mugen games that I have been showing you guys, these sprites are actually really tiny. All right. So rather than having nice, massive sprites on the screen, what you're actually finding is each one is, you know, nice and tiny as per the original sort of uh, reincarnation of, you know, of how they were in their original game. And as you can tell, you've got like your character select, uh, like image for the character itself and also the game that it's coming from as well, which is pretty cool. Doesn't seem to be any hidden characters in this, but that's okay. This is a pretty big, this is a pretty big roster to be perfectly honest. And it's such a unique, like we got like the, the foot soldier, right? From uh, Ninja Turtles, which is pretty cool, right? So there is such an eclectic, um, uh, choice of characters to choose from uh in this particular one plus we've got a total of 40 stages in this which is really nice as well so uh let's uh let's have a squizzy right also tells you what uh what the game it's from and the platform too so this is actually pretty good like i'm actually really impressed with um the level of detail my back's itchy you're gonna just have to excuse me well I'll scratch it i can't i'm not redoing the video you can just capture this like pre-recorded live right oh it feels so good right so this right get some sound up you guys can hear it hopefully so um it's obviously you know like i said the sprites are really tall uh, really tiny not tall tiny they're, they're lacking tallness um but that's okay because you know it's yet again you know as per what we do on this channel on fate uh we cover any and all fighting games no matter how bizarre how bizarre how bizarre mm -mm. right and um so let's 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 uh we've got captain america in here we'll try a captain america versus uh the foot soldier see how we go right but they're so tiny Look how tiny these characters are. They're so little, right? But that's okay. I don't mind. And it's sort of... It's so... I, I know I sort of talk about this a fair bit when it comes to Mugen, but... I love Mugen existing because, you know, you get to get some really good crossovers with characters and stuff that you never would have had before. But uh, also, you know, just looking at this game, this sort of looks, looks like something that could have been made back in the day. Um, and you know, you would have gone to the shop as a kid. It's like, oh my god, there's like this. What's Battlestorm? Is you looking on the back and you see these characters from different games? It's like, oh my god, there's like this, you know, really epic crossover. At least it would have been back then, right? Like, you know, the only way we're getting Mortal Kombat vs. Street Fighter is in a Mugen game. You know that, right? You know that it ain't happening any other way, right? So, Mugen absolutely fills the gap between, you know, um, sort of you know what we hoped that companies would do and and uh the actual wishes being fulfilled by gamers out there who also think in the same way which is pretty good right so um let's uh well, actually we'll go we'll go some uh simultaneous let's let's throw in a couple of characters we'll get uh we'll get belmont in there and uh the, <laughs> the raptor right and we'll get batman and Hagane. Right? So this one's from the Genesis in 1990. Wow. Jeez, man. Start to feel. When you're starting to see those numbers pop up and the years that some of these games are from. Fuck. You know, where's the years go? Alright. This background's got a weird red pulsing shit. It's annoying the piss out of me. 
but at least the, at least kind of like the the simultaneous battles a little bit more uh it's a little bit more um a little bit more frantic right than the single than the one-on-one -on -one. and that's probably due to the fact that you know because you've got these tiny sprites a lot of area to cover between the sprites as well um so but what really impresses me with this version it's really as far as i'm concerned it's really professional i actually, I actually let's get this clan out <clears throat> who's that tarakin yep okay uh we'll get some uh get some girls happening all right i'm actually really impressed with the um uh with how professional it is to be honest like i, I am really impressed like really, really, really impressed. I, 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 I am, I am very sort of very stoked with this version. I've, I've had this, the, the I've had like the other ones I'm going to be reviewing today, right? I've had a lot of these, um, these Mugen um, uh, games sitting on my hard drive, and I've been meaning to get around to reviewing them. So, uh, so now uh, I'll be doing that as of today, right? <laughs> and I get to move them off my C drive, you know, and put them elsewhere. Um, but uh, yeah, no, this is um, this is a really. I, I think this is a really well done, you know, really professional, um, you know, Mugen project. You know, you know, got a nice bunch of stages in here. Um, so let's. Who do we choose? Hang on. Let's try out uh, we'll try Hulk versus Robocop because everyone wants to see that. Whole bunch of stages, which is really nice, so it makes things, you know, like you're not gonna get bored. Is he gonna hulk up? No, he's just got a gun. Wait, what? Oh here we go! Oh shit! So he's got a gun and then he gets smacked once and then he hulks out. I like that, that's pretty cool. He's fucking alright. Oh, you had a whole smash move there. Robocop, Robocop's just floating around. He has no fucking idea what he's doing, man. Not a fucking clue, dude. Now, this is the trick, by the way. If you guys ever go into watch mode for um for these Mugen projects, right? Uh, set the difficulty on the hardest, and then when you go into watch mode, that'll be the hardest that the computer will fight each other, right? 99.9% .9 of the time that works on the rare occasion they haven't coded properly and it doesn't but 99.9% .9 of the time it does actually do that so do that if you want to see the computer go hardcore and you can sit there with your mates and sort of figure out who might win and play some bets and stuff like that now what I want to show you before we round out this review if you go into the arcade mode right you actually choose like you go and you choose a character so we'll choose I don't know Superman right and then you've got like a boss that you fight right so you've actually got uh, have I got some moves hang on right now I've got it set on the hardest difficulty so I'm gonna get the shit absolutely like destroyed out of me right oh there we go right but you can actually it's actually like a boss mode which is really fucking cool right now I'm assuming you'd be able to play this two player like in the co-op, like team co-op mode as well. But how awesome is that? That you actually can have a, 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 like, you know, they've taken the arcade mode and turn it into like this boss mode um, to mix it up a bit, which I think is really cool. Because uh, for me, uh, with all these Mugen projects, my main focus is watch mode. Now, I don't play the game in that sense. I love being able to sit back with the different characters and try them out like in, in terms of like a watch mode and see who'll win but um i'm actually really impressed with that he looks he looks distressed ah! anyway guys i'll leave it there let me know what you think and i'll catch you next time see ya